Okay. <laughs> Once again, it's October 16th, 2017, and this is uh, Sheila's litter of 10 puppies. And uh, very lazy puppies from what I can see. Yeah. Hello. Hello. It's got. It's later in the evening, so my lighting's not as great today. Uh, right now, I will get something different uh, sooner or later. But just wanted to at least let you guys get an idea of the puppies. Uh, and I will try and get uh, updated still shots of them as well. Okay. So they were born, I believe, two days after Bells. I mean, uh, JoJo's, I'm sorry. And we will be assigning this litter of 10 and JoJo's litter of 11 at the same time. So as you observe these puppies and you're on our list and you're thinking about getting a puppy, um, kind of start viewing your choices now. All right, this is a little girl, I can tell, because this is light pink. All right, there we go. I may make some bonus videos tomorrow after I get collars changed and uh, other things done. I needed to get, each day has a new project. <laughs> and so today was no exception. So um, anyway, here is blue collar. All right, now they are three weeks old. So they're not, they're, they're not completely cued in, but somewhat. All right, this is, I believe, brown collar. Sometimes the pink, yeah, that's brown collar. Yeah. So this is one of our boys. He's got one of our Cleopatra eyes. All right, this is our little girl, pink, light pink collar. See, a light pink tends to get kind of dingy on the outside, and it looks like brown. I like her, she's got a very unique marking on her face. This is our little girl. She's doing quite well. Oh, you don't even have a collar on anymore. I can't remember what color it was, but I do know it fell off. Might have been dark pink. Or nope, that's dark pink. Could have been dark red. I mean, could have been red. I'll check. Um, it's it's on their pictures on the website. But she's our littlest girl. Here, there, there's her markings to kind of compare um, on a, from the first photos that we took on the website. But she's doing good, ain't you? Yeah, look at you with your cross legs. So cute. So cute. Okay, here's our black collar. Yep, here's our black collar boy. Right here. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a little early to tell personalities, but we just wanted to give you a quick introduction and you can sometimes see the colors a little bit better or the markings on a video. Our little girls are petite. Again, this is Sheila's litter, and she was bred to Boaz, one of Boaz's last litters. Boaz is now retired and living in his uh, with his forever family, uh, forever as we know it on this earth. And this is our dark blue collar boy. All right. Green, I think they said you're the biggest Bruce brute in there, aren't you, buddy? Dark green. Let's see, who do we got here? Who's growling? Who's who's growling? Huh? Who's growling? I, I love the little puppy growls and barks. This is our red uh, puppy, red girl. She's got a sweet little spot right in the middle of her back. That's cute. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I can't feed you. You got away from mommy. Tomorrow we're gonna start everybody on solid food. Yes, we are. Mm-hmm, honeymoon's over. Okay, this is our little gray collared boy. He's a cutie too. Who's getting stepped on? Oh, come on. All right, here's our gray collared boy. And he's, he's one of our smallest in the litter as well. Not quite as small as his one little sister there, but he's smaller than his brothers, his big broody brothers. All right. Hard for me to tell whether I got everybody. This is brown. This is our dark blue. This is light blue. I'm not sure if I introduced you yet there, buddy. He's one of our bigger puppies as well. Now, Sheila doesn't have a blue eye. I don't know. We still may end up with a blue eye. Um, Boaz was known to sire with uh, Ruthie and Naomi, which Naomi is um, Sheila's mom. Now, Sheila doesn't have a blue eye, but her sister Katie does. But again, it can still pop up 
even if she doesn't have it because it is within the family genetics on the Old English Sheepdog side. But as I said with Jojo's litter, and Jojo is um, actually a Ruthie Max puppy. Um, as I said with Jojo's litter, um, it's hard to tell until they're about four weeks. So maybe by next week, uh, we will be able to see if we have any blue eyes in these. And I do not charge extra for blue eyes, just FYI, okay? It's just something that sometimes happens and it's an extra bonus that somebody might get when they get to choose their puppy if it's their turn and that puppy is available. Um, but I do not charge extra for blue eyes or any type of markings. Um, it's just not what I do. So, okay. Um, beginning November 1st, our price does go up to $1,800 for any deposits received November 1st and later. Up to that point, any deposits we receive, um, will, we will continue to honor our current price of $1,500 for these puppies. The deposit amount of $300 still remains the same. You got some coal markings running down your back there, little girl. Yes, you do. Look at that. All right, time to get moms back in. <laughs> hey, dear boy, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm, you cutie. Cutie. Hi. All right. So that's just a quick intro of our two litters. Uh, again, this is a Sheila Boaz. And the other video I will be sharing is uh, Jojo Archie. Or did I have that wrong? Yeah, no, that's right, that's right. Yeah, because Jojo, Boaz and RG got switched. Katie's is actually out of RG this time instead of Boaz. So this is one of Boaz's last litters, if not his last litter. Okay, so thank you for viewing our puppies. And again, this is Law Padoodle, our uh, canine manner. Our website is www.lawpdoodlek, the number nine manor, m a n o r dot com. If you would like to get in touch with us, our contact information is on our website. Both our cell phone for text, as well as uh, we can't get phone calls at home. It, we just don't have enough signal for phone calls at home. But um, uh, you can text us. We generally can receive texts. It's easier if it's iPhone to iPhone through Wi-Fi, but uh, sometimes I will get random texts from other uh, types of, you know, the Androids or whatever. Um, it just sometimes takes longer for me to get them. It just depends on whether it picks the signal up or not. So thank you very much, and may God bless you.